and I know that it'll make money. I know that people, they'll, there's a market for it. Right. So when COVID hit, um, my business was shut down like everyone else's. And a lot of people who were out working were suddenly home and they're like, we don't need your dog walking services. And my business is 90 something percent dog walking. So it stopped for a really long time until I kind of switched my marketing around. So I just started doing dog portraits. I was like, I need to make money. So I just started doing dog portraits and every, everyone was, so many people were like, oh my God, I want this of my dog and I want this and I want that. So that kind of just took off. So I have people in line to do dog portraits and I mixed a little bit of abstract art and mixed media into it. Um, I do want to get looser with my dog portraits. I have two examples here, like in the oh, works. Cool. So this one is in the works, but the background is an acrylic monoprint. And that's kind of where the mixed media and the abstract comes into play. Um, and then this one's still in progress too. I have to work on the ears. Um, but I love it. I want to loosen up with my dog portraits and get a little bit more abstract. Um, but I have to finish the, I have to finish the ones of, from, from the people that want this style. Okay. So I want to know two things. Sure. How much creative license do you take when somebody like commissions a pet portrait from you? And two, how long does it take you to do each pet portrait? Okay, so it depends on the medium. These ink port, this is just done with a micron. So the background is an acrylic monoprint and a monoprint is just one print. You can't multiply it because it's just, after you do it once it's done, hence the, the word mono. Okay. Um, so the backgrounds just take, I mean, it's just splashing paint on and creates fun. It's just like no thought, just going, going, going and you just create a bunch of those. So I do a bunch of mono prints in different colors. Um, and a mix of colors. And then people will ask for paintings and sometimes they'll, sometimes they'll want a specific background color. Other times I'll look at the photo that they send me and pair it up with a good tone for the background. 